Before we get into our training video, if by chance you found this video as a recommended video on YouTube, this training video is actually part of an extensive Corel Draw for Beginners training series from AdvancedTShirts.com. We have developed dozens of videos and we also have available on our website downloadable work along files that you can work with in Corel Draw while you're working through the training videos. Easily the best and fastest way to learn. If these videos are helpful to you, please take a second to add a like to the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when we upload new video content. And of course, in the comment section below, you can post your questions or your Corel Draw video tutorial requests. In this video, we'll take a look at selecting objects in Corel Draw. And I know we're getting into very fundamental and basic things, but once again, this is Corel Draw for beginners. And we want to learn these techniques because when we're working with graphics, we want to be able to make selections and change things when we're working in our designs. So we're working with very rudimentary graphic objects here, and we're going to get into designing things later in the series. But right now, we want to learn the fundamentals of selecting and all the basics of working in Corel Draw, setting the foundation to go into the training for actual graphic design and really working with the tools in Corel Draw. To select an object, all you need to do is hover over it with the pick tool from the toolbox here. You left click one time, it's selected. Now if you want to deselect it, you can hit the escape key on your keyboard or press that, you'll deselect it, or you could just click off to deselect. If you want to select more than one object, you can lasso those objects and you can hold down shift to deselect objects in a selection. You can see I have four objects selected here. If I click on one of these holding down the shift key, I now have three objects. I just deselected that object. If I want to reselect it holding down shift, I can select it again. If I want to individually select different objects, at different locations in my document or workspace, hover over, select one object, hold down shift again, come over here, I could go to this object, select that, now I have two objects selected, come over here to this object on the end, left click, select that, holding down shift, and I have all three of the objects selected. I can move them, and we'll get into moving and scaling and rotating later, but I left click, hold down and move those objects, because those are the selected objects. I'll hit Control Z. I can also lasso a selection of objects and then hold down Shift, lasso, and deselect objects in my selection or reselect those objects. And back to nine objects selected. From the nine objects that were lassoed, I can also hold down Shift and deselect specific objects in the selection and I just went down to seven object selected. So once again, it's lassoing and it's left click and it's holding down shift. Now let's take a look at working with grouped objects. And here we have some objects that are ungrouped and I can select any object because nothing is grouped here. Now grouped objects, and we'll get into working with grouped objects in another session, but they're basically objects nested together into a group so it becomes a group of four objects but it acts like or functions like one object so if i click off and click on i'm selecting the group if i want to select an object in the group i can hold down control and now i've selected an object in the group and you'll see the change in the handles they turn to circles even though the object is still in scale and stretch mode. And we can see that if we hover over one of the handles, even though it's a circle. Now, if I hold down Alt and Control, I can select the object behind that object in the group. So if I hold down Alt, let's say I select this polygon here, but I want to select the square behind it, but I really can't get to it. I'll hold down Alt and I can select the object behind the object. So I could hold down Alt down here, select the polygon. There's a triangle and there's a circle. Let's say I want to get to the circle. It's three steps back behind the polygon shape. I can hold down Alt and click one time. I'll get the rectangle. 
click again here and I'll select the circle or the ellipse shape that's behind that so I can move into or go through behind objects holding down the alt key to get to them so that's how we can select objects and here we have several different examples of the keyboard shortcuts and hotkeys for selecting objects and you can practice with these now I can also get to objects and I'll go here and I'll go to the object manager and I can see that I have this group selected this group of four objects and from the object manager I can select the polygon the ellipse the other polygon which is actually a triangle or the rectangle and here again I can hold down shift if I hold down shift and go to the top you'll see it'll select the original selection and then everything between where I held down shift into the selection so if I select just this rectangle hold down shift I'll select the polygon on top you'll see that the polygon triangle and the ellipse will also get selected I'll go back to having just the rectangle selected now if I hold down control and not shift I can select objects individually without selecting the objects in between the selection that I made holding down control and if I click on this object I'll select that and I could come down again holding down control and select this maybe I want to select that and you can see I can select different objects differently than holding down the shift which does not select everything between the two objects that you selected in the object manager once again we have the shortcut keys here and we have an example here here I have this soccer ball and it's I want to select it but it's behind everything and everything's ungrouped here this is not grouped so what I would do to select this and I'll zoom in is I would left click hold down and lasso the soccer ball and then the stars that I selected I can identify by these little dots on them but first I want to make sure I got everything in the soccer ball selected there's an X in the middle of that left click hold down move that I can see I've got everything selected I'll hit control Z to undo move that back then hold down shift and click on these stars now I have just the soccer ball go to the X in the middle left click hold down move that I can verify that hit control Z I could now group this and then I could take this and go right click order in front of and click on the blue in the badge and that would send that to the front now I'm still behind this outline so I could very easily address that select this right click and then order and go to back of page and I'd send that to the back and now I'd have the soccer ball where I wanted and be able to make that selection using the lasso and then holding down shift to deselect the objects that I didn't want to have selected so we'll wrap here concerning our session or training on selecting objects in CorelDRAW and we'll continue in our next video